Today, my training focus is on the double sticks. And I'm going back to the basics. I believe that whether you are a beginner, an intermediate, or an advanced student, that you should always be practicing the basics. Make sure you never neglect the fundamental skills. The three drills that I want to teach you today are perfect if you are just starting off in your double sticks, or if you're an advanced student and you gotta go back to those fundamentals. If you need a pair of quality rattan collie sticks, make sure to visit my store over at colliecenter.com and you can purchase a pair two today. Got the link down below. In the world of Kali, actually in the world of all martial arts, you have three energies that you can strike with. You have what's called a fluid strike, and this allows you to strike through the center line from one side of the body to the next side of the body. Then you also have what's called the broken strike, and this is where you strike to the center and then you return it to the original side of the body. And then you have a circular strike that goes all the way through and returns to the original side of the body where the strike initiated from. These are the three energies of strikes. So we have our fluid, our broken, and our circular. We have a fluid, a broken, and a circular. And the fundamental strike, the first one that we always teach is our angle one. So we're gonna be working these three energies on the double weapons all on our angle one today. Our first drill is our fluid angle one. We're gonna start off right here in our chamber position. The right stick is over the right shoulder, the left stick is near the right hip. Now we're gonna strike our upward strike, we call this an angle four, and then we're gonna strike down on that angle one. We're gonna strike up that four and down the angle one, just like this. If you're using sticks, I want you to think of this as a nice clean cut, as if you had a sword. If you're using a training sword, then that's very good because you can see where that cutting edge would be. If you do not have a training sword, that's okay. The second knuckle line right here, this represents where the blade edge would be if this was a sword. So just make sure that second knuckle line is striking forward. Okay, so we have our fluid ones right here. And let's get some reps in. Let's do it 10 times together right here. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can also bring some footwork into this drill to start calibrating our weapon to our feet with some triangle footwork, left 45 steps and right 45 steps. Let's take a quick look. Drill Dalawa is our brokens. So now we're gonna start off in our chamber position, or what we call the open position, just like this. Right stick over the right shoulder, left stick over the left shoulder, and we're gonna strike our broken ones just like this. Okay. We're gonna strike to the center and retract it. As the right stick retracts, we strike the left. As the left stick retracts, we strike the right and we're gonna be alternating just like this. Just don't go fluid like this, because these are fluid strikes. We're working the broken strikes to the center and bring it back. Just make sure that when you are working your broken strikes that you're not just you're using your arms like this. You want good chamber positions, and you wanna make sure that you are rotating your hips and shoulders and striking using your lats, using your back muscles, and putting your entire body in these strikes. Let's get 10 broken ones in together. Here we have one, two, three, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Our third double stick fundamentals drill that we have covers the circular ones. From here, we're starting off again in that open position like the previous drill, and we're gonna strike our one and strike our one, just like this. Okay, going all the way through. And now these strikes form a forward triangle. We're gonna strike to the opposite shoulder, cutting forward, and we're gonna strike to the opposite shoulder, cutting forward, just like this. But it's a one energy, and it's a cut energy. Another thing I want you to pay attention to is your lines here. These are not vertical strikes. Okay, that's not wrong, that's just a different strike. They're not whipping over to an angle two, they're cutting down on the one line. But we have to make sure that we're in a good stance, that we're in this bladed type of position, and it should be striking kind of in a parallel line with the front leg. Okay, and then in a parallel line with our torso. And you see how that hand goes all the way back? and it just circles around. All right, let's get a few of these in together. Let's rep it out. On circular ones, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's take these drills over to Bob and the tires for some impact training. Let's work our fluid strikes, our fluid angle ones on Bob here. And we're gonna come up that four, and then we're gonna come down the one. Up the four, down the one. You can strike Bob either in the head or in the neck. If you wanna be a little bit more nice, then you can strike him in the shoulder. Or right into the collarbone. Let's rep it out. Let's go and work our broken ones, going right to the head, right to the neck on Bob. Our circular ones can either go right to Bob's head or right to the shoulders. And it's a little bit deceiving because they're going to the opposite side of the body but you can also strike them on the same side of the body. So the circular ones, there's a lot of versatility to them, and uh, they can become some pretty sneaky shots, hard for your opponent to track. Let's rip out our circular ones. You can do your impact training on anything you have to strike. It could be a bob, it could be a stack of tires, one tire tied to a tree, it could be a heavy bag, anything that you can strike. And the impact training is very important to make sure, to validate that you are striking forward and to the target. Let's play around with these three drills and mix them up on the tires. Hey, thanks so much for training with me today. I hope that you enjoy these drills. Again, if you need a pair of sticks, head over to my store over at colliecenter.com and go order yourself a pair or two of some quality rattan sticks. For more double stick collie training, check out my double sticks DVD downloads or join me inside of my online school. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button, click the subscribe button, leave me a quick comment below, share this video with your martial arts friends, add it to your favorites, and I'll catch you back here next time for some more collie training. 
Kali fun. 